practical courage. Everything Joshua got, he got it by the courage delivered from heaven. And the source of courage is the word of God. God's word is the fountain of courage. Those who hear the voice of God don't fear the noise of the devil. Satan is a noisemaker. He makes noise to terrorize you. He makes noise to make you fear. But those who hear God's voice have no regard for the noise of the devil. Those who see God don't fear men. Those who meet with the great God considers every devil around them as dwarfs. Get back to Joshua chapter 1 and see how the word of God brings into you courage to qualify you for your restoration. If what is yours must be taken back, then you need to drop your cheeky heart to possess the heart of courage. After all of the promises that God made to Joshua in chapter 1, he was fidgety. And the Lord said to him, Hey, Moses, my servant is no longer here. You better take full charge right now if these blessings must come your way. And God said to him, This is my promise to you. Every place where the sole of your feet shall tread upon has been given unto you. And the Lord said furthermore to him, He said, There shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. They will come against you, but they will never be able to stand against you. Borderless about those who are fighting you. It is a concluded matter. God said they will not be able to stand before you. After this shiloh, there is no devil that will be able to look at you in the eye again. There shall not a man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life. Not a few days, not a few years. All the days of your life. But the Lord said to him in verse 6, if this must happen be strong and of a good courage and in verse 7 he said again only be thou strong and very courageous in verse 6 he said good courage in verse 7 he says very courageous and how would this courage come verse 8 this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth this book has a way of turning cheeky heart to lion heart nothing strengthens the heart like this book joshua you must be courageous but this is the only way for you to assess that courage that will give you access into your blessing this book of the Lord, God meant to say to Joshua, all the energy required is loaded inside this book. Men of this book are men of courage. You cannot have this book and remain a dwarf. This book does something to the heart of man. That thou mayest observe to do according to the law which Moses my servant commanded thee turn not from it to the right or to the left that thou mayest prosper with us wherever thou goest this book of the law shall not be part of your mouth but thou shalt meditate upon it day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then when the book has entered into you for then you will be empowered to make your way prosperous and then you shall have good success and he concluded by saying in verse 9 
have not i commanded you by the word that i have spoken to you be strong and of a good courage be not afraid neither be thou dismayed for via the word of the lord the lord thy god is with thee whithersoever thou goest look at verse 10 very interestingly then joshua commanded the officers and the people of the people when you receive god's command you become a commander nothing puts you in command like you're being in touch with the command of god i have seen it i've experienced it this book had turned my cheeky heart to lion heart when you hear god's voice you don't fear satan's noise everything negative you are hearing they are noises they are announcement of set, what satan is planning to do that he cannot do until he gets your permission all this news i will kill you i will make you sick i will afflict you they are noises if satan can kill you he won't give you notice he's only seeking your permission and all you need to do is with a courageous heart tell him you can't come close here sometimes early this year one night i woke up with a voice very clear in my ear with low and as soon as my eyes opened i started feeling pain on my finger i didn't stand up from my bed say satan clear off you are not up to a man that should wake me up from my sleep there are many people who through their sleep who through the news who through the things they see on the street who through the things they hear has put them in perpetual fear satan cannot reach you without taking permission from you through his noise it is the voice of god that answers the noise of the devil the courage of joshua to possess the land came through the word and i tell you something among other things that we do at shiloh is to charge you so you can be in charge to charge you so you can take charge and then discharge the devil so you will not only be blessed on this mountain when you get back to your various places you are taking charge there every devil you meet on your way shall be fully discharged courage from the word of god from what the lord said to joshua here i quickly show to you two things that the power of courage demonstrates in verse 7 he said only be thou courage very strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do this is very crucial that you may observe to do you see the greatest attack of the devil over our lives is for us not to obey what god is saying the power of the believer is in obedience you know what the bible tells us he said you will punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled you don't know how much of god's help you can receive the moment you begin to obey obedience to god's word calls for courage it calls for courage it calls for courage for someone to obey god to move the church from the city of lagos and to come to a suburb in this place it took courage for someone to embark by the leading of the spirit for a building like this to be erected by god's people 
and to be built within one year courage there are many things god has said to you that he wants to do in your life that will remain a daydream until the word of god fires courage into your heart to do it and this is what i'm praying tonight under this unction that is at work in this place i decree that the spirit of courage at work upon god's servant in this place be infused into you in the name of jesus it is courage that steers you up on your within when problems are staring at you in your face when oppositions are staring at you it takes courage within to stir up the strength to confront them that you may observe to do because it is in doing what god said that you'll find them doing what he has promised and secondly in verse 9 the lord said to him be strong and of a good courage be not afraid nor be thou dismayed for the lord thy god is with thee listen to me the the effect of divine presence is impossible without a courageous heart how much of god you command to follow you is determined by your courageous heart you don't know what god can do until you find yourself taking courageous steps you don't know what you can do until you begin to do what you can do you don't know how much god can act until you begin to take steps in the direction of his guidance for your life until you do what you can god will never do what you can't you don't know how far you can go until you begin to go you don't know how much you can build until you begin to build there are many people perhaps seated here who are due for owning their private homes but are scared by the economy of the nation you don't know what god can do until you begin to take steps don't die as a tenant i used to tell people what it takes to build is one tip of sand buy one tip of sand and tell the ground i'm coming back <laughs> buy another gravel a trip of gravel and tell the ground i'm coming back start intimidating the ground i'm coming back you want to be free from sickness take a step take a step and the energy of god will be released to the second step for you to come out of that affliction that is what courage does courage makes you to take daring steps because that's what courage is all about courage means daring the impossible courage means confronting your fear fear is my rage if you have traveled in hot sunny day before as you are driving you see something like a burning effect in front of you but the closer you are to it the further it goes away from you it's like you are almost reaching it but the farther you are going the farther it goes away from you that is how fear and the devil operates the closer you are to him the father he draws back from you therefore don't run away from your fear those who run away from their fear are overtaken by their fear and when they are overtaken by their fear the fear ultimately kills them courage means confronting your fear 
anything that makes you fear is where your blessing is contained anything that wants to kill you is where your life is in therefore face your fear to face out the fear face your fear to face out the fear you know what courage will do for you as you take steps it makes you enjoy divine coincidences do you know when things happen for some people we hear others say it is luck it is luck but they need to find out the steps they are taking for somebody to come around here and say it is luck it is luck it's not luck you need to take note the steps that have been taken to actualize it when the prodigal son took a step from his prodigious journey in luke gospel we have that story chapter 15 from verse 11 when he said i will arise and go as soon as he arose something moved the father from the house to arise this boy did not meet the father at home the bible says when the father had lifted up his head he saw him from afar and the father ran to catch up with him when you take steps good things run to catch up with you so when you sit down good things don't come to meet you good things meet you when you are on your way going towards it when you take steps you enjoy divine coincidences when you take steps you attract the anointing to fight for you the anointing is strongest when the battle is toughest the anointing is strongest when the battle is toughest and we see that in the story of samson on two different occasions when the spirit of god came mightily upon him in judges chapter 14 verses 5 and 6 the bible tells us as he was going a lion roared at him and at the instance of the roaring of the lion the spirit of the lord came upon him and with his bare hand he tore the lion into pieces you don't know how much of god's power you can enjoy until you are confronted by the enemy at another instance in chapter 15 verses 14 to 16 the bible tells us that the philistines came upon him and they shouted on him and as they shouted upon him the spirit of the lord came upon him and as samson turned he saw a job fresh jawbone of an ass he took it and he killed one thousand of them at the same time when you take steps you attract your enemies to oppose you but as they oppose you you also attract god to defend you with his power you don't know what god can do until you begin to do what you can do you don't know how much god can work until you begin to take steps we have the story of these lepers the four lepers who took steps it was an amazing story in second kings chapter 7 after the man of god the prophet prophesied that there will be abundance of food in the land and everybody was wondering how will it come to pass god used the lepers to make it come to pass you may look like an entity but when you start taking steps you see god turning you into a recognized entity in your society the bible tells me that they rose up in a twilight if you can i'd like you to quickly read that with me just to see some specific words there before we begin to round up second kings somebody is taking his place there is no more slackness around you whatever remains for you particularly tonight you are taking it after they had their conference in verse 3 the four lepers met together in the first ever conference of lepers and they discussed 
one of them said hey why are we going to sit down here and die another person said where shall we go from here another one said well we better go to the camp of the enemy if they see us with hands not available they may have mercy on us but in case they kill us it is better to die while we are on motion than to die while we are seated you know in the military they say when somebody died they say he died in active service it's better to die fighting than to die seated and often those who die who fight when they are going they don't die in verse 5 the bible says they rose up in the tree lie to go to the camp of the syrians and as they rose verse 6 the lord had made the host of syrians to hear the noise of chariots and they all fled how verse 7 wherefore the enemies also arose and fled in the twilight the four lepers arose in the twilight their enemies also arose in the twilight to flee before them as you take steps from this shiloh every opposition will begin to take steps away from you as you take steps after this shiloh every enemy on your way will be taking step away from you sickness will take step away from your body affliction will take step away from your body every work of the devil will take step away from you this courage like we have said is born from the word of god that's why again tonight as you receive the word you are receiving courage there is the story of a king the bible tells us after he had heard the word of god he took courage he took courage god's word can gain access into you and you fail to have access to your inheritance it's a new day for you i can see somebody already threatening the devil i can see somebody already eager to tear down the devil just like Samson tore the lion with his hands, bare hands. I see all devils standing on your way, torn into pieces from tonight. Will you rise to your feet, every courageous person, as you have received it from the word of the Lord tonight? Raise your hand. Courage is expressed after you have received it through the words of your mouth. He said, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth will you lift up your voice now and begin to declare let the enemy hear your voice once and for all let him hear that you are in charge begin to declare god's word has put me in charge on living shiloh ground I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. God's word that I've received has put me in charge. God's word has entered into me. And the spirit entered into me when he spoke to me and put me on my feet. Made me courageous. Made me strong in my heart. Oh, somebody's receiving a blessing right now. Somebody's loose from that chair right now. Thank you, Jesus. Will you wave your two hands and glorify God? Glorify God. Glorify God. Give glory to Jesus as you pray in the Holy Ghost. Charge yourself up as you pray in the Holy Ghost. Give Him the glory due to Him. Give Him the glory due to Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah in the name of jesus now by the word of the lord you have received and by the unction that makes this ministry to function courageously as it works upon his servant i decree that a new dimension of courage fills your heart now in the name of jesus you are blessed give jesus your hand and take your seat
We can call Satan, we can call demons, we can call principalities in the name of Jesus. We can call Satan, we can call demons, we can call principalities in the name of Jesus. Shout and shout and shout and Oh, I'm gonna be the 